The Justice Minister said a parole board decision taken in June to free Pistorius and allow him to serve out the rest of his sentence on the house arrest was premature and thereby suspended pending the review. Justice Minister Michael Musutha blocked Pistorius' proposed release because he said the decision was made without legal basis. The Stimkam family is happy with the government's surprise decision to block the release of Paralympian Oscar Pistorius. The decision, which came as the family was marking what would have been River's 32nd birthday. June sent a message to me to say that uh, this is the best day ever for River and thank you very much. And it changed the mood of the family, I can say. They sent a number of messages to individuals to say thank you very much. This is the better birthday than last year. The Progressive Women's Movement for South Africa has since been lobbying against the release of the double amputee sprinter. They say all they want is for justice to prevail. We were saying that even if he can stay for nine days, that was nine days that we were requesting. If he goes out after the, on the first, we were looking forward to November that he will go for, there will be an appeals a, a court. And that is where we are gunning for. And we are hopeful and we respect the rule of law and we think that this time we are wishing for him to get between 10 and 15 years, no parole. There's thousands uh, of applications that get considered um, by the boards, by the, uh, the NCCS and, and by myself and uh, we deal with matters as expeditiously as possible regardless of who is involved uh, and so on. Oscar Pistorius was convicted of culpable homicide in October of 2014 and sentenced to five years in prison with the possibility of house arrest after seven one-sixth of his sentence, a regular occurrence under the South African law. Bemi Samuel, TVC News.